What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another one of my Baba, and you see this person is packing a Giratina pocket and you do. So I'm fearing it quite a bit. Mergos won't be a problem because most of my team are fire based. Salamas will be a problem, and Revile, once again, fire team. So anyway, it's time to set up Radon and Salamans against E. New Tomb Revile. Of course, the Timonite goes off that is great on the Weavile, but. <laughs> There's nothing to the U2! And obviously, uh, Billy's are going off anyway. And now it's time for Salamance to go for Heat Wave! Because this is my new Salamance, it's my special attacking one. And it obviously takes Weaver out of the Sash and does a nice chunk to the U2. And I get the burn! Woo. But then the U2 goes for Ice Beam! And since my new Salamance is scarfed, yeah, no chance. The other one would have taken it, but not the Salamance. No, no, no. So now Grand Island doesn't like that and goes for Earthquake! And take a both out. And I be think that Weaver was going for counter, you know. Yeah, because thinking that all are both, as and are both physical attackers, so he goes a counter and you know, take them both out, sort of thing. But it didn't quite work. Didn't expect a heat wave for Salamance. So anyway, it's hard to say no. Fire Leap, and she's now going to send out a shiny Palkia. Oh, joy. And Giratina. So she sends out all three of her Ubers. Oh, joy. So now then, it's time for to see what shenanigans she's going to go do. So I'll go for Batet. Also, Ground will go for Earthquake, so that's nice. So now I think she will, she has Earth Power, which is good to know. But the, unfortunately, Giratina go, does go for Shadow Force. Which makes Earthquake only hit the Palkia. But it should do a nice chunk, you know, because Pal Palkia's not that great on physical. Like, so decent ish. And of course, it misses the Giratina, which sucks. So now then, it's time to call back Fire 8 the Infinite, because it's predicting another Earth Power. And it's time to, and it's time to send out your Mega, which is a great counter. Like so. Ha! Ah, good old Yarmega. And by now, Gatina goes for Shadow Force. Now, let's see how much damage this does. Ouch. Really, not ouch, ouch, but still hurts. So, Grana goes for Earthquake again, because that's the best thing he can do. And this time, he's going to hit both of them. Like so. So, one more hit on that Palkia, and it will go down, and Gatina's not. Doesn't like these Earthquakes just as much as Palkia. Unfortunately, Gatina's obviously holding left these as most Gatina's are. But no, Yamaga yeah, goes to D Tech to get his speed boost going as he that's what he does and he's very good at it. But now Power Cow goes to Special Win! Oh Granon. But Granon can take it. Because he's specially defensive. And he's only shooting just baby. Ha. And he's holding the Power Cow's holding a shell bow, which restores health. Me. So now again, Tina goes to Dragon Pulse. And now oh, the hurt on Just as much as Special Win. So Groudon doesn't like that, so he goes for Earthquake again. So that's what he does. And it takes on the power and Gatina does a decent ish to Gatina. So anyway, he loses it. She, my pardon, loses Palkia, so that's gone. But uh, unfortunately, even for they, uh, cannot touch that Gatina with Heat Wave and Solar Beam, so it's all up to your Omega and Groudon. So Yomen goes for that air smash. Does ugh, ish. Because I'm getting this extreme bulkiness with the ventures. Ha! And now it's time for Ground to go for Woodline. As I went out PP with Earthquake. And another air slash should finish its job. But we don't have well with that left is it might still survive. Maybe. Not sure. Let's find out. So Young Woman goes for that air slash again, takes on the Gatina, and that will be the game. And always remember to press that like button and leave a comment and subscribe and peace out everyone.